It's a packed house to see an inspiration to so many girls around the world. Nicole Stott, a retired astronaut and accomplished artist, is touring South African schools to promote STEM education. With her unique background in science and the arts, she emphasizes the importance of STEAM, incorporating arts into traditional STEM disciplines, which include science, technology, engineering, and math. When you add STEAM in, I think what we're doing is we're encouraging our kids to use their whole brain, right, to consider all of their talents when they're trying to solve problems. And we're going to be relying on them to solve some of the greatest planetary challenges we've ever had. So we want them to use their whole brain. And I think that STEM, with the A, STEAM, puts them in a, I don't know, puts them in a place to do that, to recognize the tools and their talents to bring that together. In South Africa, women make up 13% of STEM graduates. Steve Sherman is determined to make that number rise. He's an award-winning teacher and the founder of the nonprofit organization Living Maths. If you look at the number of scientists, there are too few women in that field. They are underrepresented and possibly it could be that some of these students don't feel that they have what it takes because they only see male role models. So you bring out a woman, fee, uh, a woman role model and all of a sudden students start to see someone that they can relate to and that is critical when it comes to uh, motivating them and, and getting them enthusiastic about following a career in STEM. South Africa itself plays an important role in space exploration with plans for a ground station in the Karoo region that will support NASA's future deep space missions. Ninth grade student Azra Ilogru says Stat has been an inspiration to her and her friends. I remember Nicole Stott, I used to watch her uh, because I had like a lot of interest in astronomy so I, I had a video of her um, explaining like, how you do some things in space and now seeing her here is like really joyful. <laughs> If you want to do something, the environment you are in or um, the people you are around has nothing to do with what you want to do. Like, as long as you have your hopes high, you can do it. Buckle up, South Africa, because the future of science and innovation is about to launch, powered by the unstoppable determination of young minds. Siri Kassam for VON News, Johannesburg.